Let's play. Quiet, quiet. Hey everybody, this is Brian here from Let's Play Quietly. And this is a competitive Overwatch match where Nick and I are playing together. This was one of our placement matches for the fifth season of competitive play. Nick, I believe, already finished his placement matches, but I still had a bunch left to play. And even though it looks like I'm going to start off with Soldier here, I actually am playing D.Va in this uh, match. And I have the new skin from the anniversary event, which I was super psyched to get in my latest loot box. And I haven't really been playing D.Va a lot lately, and I don't know really why that is. I think that, as you saw in the last couple of videos, I've been playing Lucio a lot, and I think it's because when Nick and I play competitive, a lot of times people don't want to be healers, and so I will play Lucio, or occasionally Mercy, or Zenyatta, but mostly Lucio. So I haven't been playing a lot of offensive players in terms of competitive play. So it was nice to kind of play D.Va here, and be aggressive and really get in there and mix it up. Um, by the way, I don't know if you can hear in the background, but there is a solitary fly that is flying around my room and it is driving me insane. But I'm doing my best to ignore it because every time I try to drag it down, it goes and hides somewhere. And then I end up standing in the middle of the road for 10 minutes like a moron. So I decided to go ahead and record. Um, but back to the match. We've got them pushed all the way back to just outside their spawn at this point. And we're doing pretty good. Um, I almost got myself in trouble there, but thanks to Mercy and thanks to my boost, I was able to get out of there. But they're really just trying to poke at us right now and, and find some way to kind of get in there. And again, having a mercy healing you is really nice. And I'm doing pretty decent so far, but their mercy just rest everybody. And then Reinhardt put them all on the floor, so... And I think I let that go as soon as, yeah, that was a terrible use of my ultimate because it didn't kill anybody and then it left me right in front of Zarya and she just melted me. Even though I think Hanzo got credit for that kill. So we're back at it now and um, they've taken the point so they're gaining ground on us. I forget where Nick is at this point, but he's usually leading the team in kills, so I could play for a million years and I'll never be as good as he is at this game. So I just try to focus on doing my job, and right now my job is being targeted by Reinhardt, and he killed me again. So I felt like I started this match off pretty strong. And then, about halfway through this first round, I was getting frustrated a little bit because I got killed a couple times in a row real pretty quickly. So, right here, I'm just trying to change it up and come at it a different way. But they were sort of waiting on it, so here we are back to. my usual sort of entry point. And we took the point back. And we're 
we're doing a pretty good job keeping them at bay. Lucio's doing a good job of using his push move right there. And Reinhardt, I was just trying to get him to drop his shield and maybe have somebody else take a shot at him. And also trying to take out their Mercy. Which is, again, that was kind of, I overextended myself there. And ended up getting myself in trouble. But then, oh man, I almost had that Mercy. And if I had killed her, she would not have been able to res the rest of that team. So, that was a missed opportunity right there. That's one of the reasons I like going back and watching these matches afterwards, is that it really um, gives you some good insight into what you could be doing differently and how you can improve, like even when you have a good match, like it's easy when you have a terrible match to see what you could have done differently, but if you have a decent match, there's always room for improvement, especially for me, because I consider myself a very mediocre Overwatch player. But we ended up uh, taking that round. So we're on to round two. And I had seven objective kills so far. Which, I mean, the only thing that that means to me is that I spent a lot of time around the point. Which is good, because as a tank, I want to do that. I love that emote for D.Va, so I just have to use it all the time. And she's got some good uh, sprays as well. That was her cookie spray, even though I put it under a suitcase. I'm coming in the back door here. And we've already got some competition. And you got to be super careful with Lucio on this one because he can knock you right off the edge of the map. So I just have to be careful around him. I was uh, happy that Marcy was helping me out, but once she got killed, I was sort of left out there and did not really play that well. I probably should have boosted back into the main point area and stayed away from Soldier, who was healing himself as he was going one-on-one -on -one with me, so... There's Nick. You can see that Nick is playing uh, Soldier 76 for our team. And Nick does a very good job of keeping himself in the game. Like, he usually has a very good kill-to-death ratio. So even if he's not getting a ton of kills, which he usually is, but even if he's not, he stays alive and he stays in the match. I have a tendency to overextend myself a lot of times, and when I do that, I, you know, obviously if you're a healer or something, that's, that's 30 seconds or more that you're out of the mix and not healing your teammates and stuff, so... But here, you know, basically the rest of this battle is taking place on this point, so... They have 65% of it. And I got myself cornered there, which wasn't great. But then, uh, Mercy rest me, which was awesome. even though that wasn't the most effective use of my ultimate. We're still holding our own here. And we're playing pretty well together as a team right now. So boom, we just took the point back when they were at 99%. Which, I have been on the receiving end of many a time, and that is super frustrating when you end up kind of getting yourself in a situation where you give that up, and I've lost.
lost plenty of matches where we were up 99 to nothing. And then all of a sudden, the other team comes flying back, and boom. Next thing you know, you lost. So, we were really determined not to let that happen here. Although, the other team didn't seem to care that we were really determined. I should have gotten right back into my mech and not left myself out there without that mech. But luckily, I didn't end up getting killed, so we fought off that particular flurry. And their mercy got caught out there by herself, which that never works out well. This is an excellent map for... Lucio, I think I mentioned that already, but because he can just knock people right off the edge of the map. And I knew they were going to make a move, so I just, this was stupid, but basically I was just trying to draw them out the back of the room and make them chase me. And it, I mean, I guess it worked all right, but there was no way I was going to survive that, so I guess in the end it was probably not worth it. But here we are at 99%. And that was awesome. And we were able to come back on them after being down 99 to nothing. So that was pretty awesome. Because as I mentioned, that has happened to me in the opposite direction many a time. So here we go for round three. And again, Here's Diva's emote. Just because it's so good. I like these um, competitive, like, objective matches because they last a good amount of time. You know, the only thing that really sucks is if you have somebody quit out of a match because then you're kind of screwed, but, um, I got myself in trouble there, but watch this. That soldier really, really wanted to find me up here and kill me, and I was so super happy that I got him instead. And then I was just trying to poke at these guys and get my mech back, and I almost got myself killed by Hanzo. In fact, if he had shot one of those ricochet arrows, there's no doubt in my mind he would have killed me. But I got the mech back. Got back in there. Helped take down Mercy. And... I can't remember if we kept the point here or not. Oh, we did, yeah. So now we're putting them on their heels a little bit. I almost walked right into that ultimate from Hanzo. See, that was a good example of where I would normally over-pursue, and I would have chased him, and he probably would have killed me, or at least knocked me out of my mech. So sometimes I have to remind myself that my teammates are right there, and if I do some damage and then don't over-pursue, that's better for everyone. Because then I don't end up getting my...
myself killed. There you go again. You have mercy resting the entire team. That's super frustrating when you basically get everybody off the point and then she ends up, you know, getting you. Although I can't remember, did we take her out here? No. She's so fast. It's really not even fair trying to track her down with Diva, although I did take out that Reaper. So I was pretty psyched about that. I felt like for D.Va, for this particular round, there was a few times where I definitely would normally get killed, and I ended up staying alive. Like, there was probably three times right there where, in, nor in any normal match, or, you know, on average, I end up getting myself killed, and those times I was able to stay alive, so anyways... We ended up winning, which was awesome. Um, I forgot what play of the game this is, but... As you can see, Reinhardt's just wreaking havoc. Good lord. Yeah. That's play of the game worthy, so... And Nick had 38 eliminations, so as usual, he did awesome. I ended up with, let's take a quick look, uh, 29 and 6, so that's not bad. So I'll take that any day of the week, so there you go. That's going to wrap up this particular video, so if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to our YouTube page, and I'll be back.